Hi, we're Ramblin' Backroads. That's Ramblin' Raw. That's me, Backroads Bob. We like to travel, eat, drive, wander, build things. We do what we can to experience all of what life has to offer. Join us as we travel the back roads of life. Let's go. Morning. We are out at my place and are doing some winter organization cleanup spring to do's. This is the get rid of winter hello spring day. Part of the problem is I usually have a vehicle right in here and here and from about Halloween on November 1st on that happened and I don't like that I know it's a common thing but not not at my place so we're gonna get rid of that we're going to air the tire up on that and move it drive it a little she's cleaning out that one if you can see rumblebee we're going to put all this christmas in that's been in my house and it gets relocated and it's just a fun day in the country you get to help wall art for my building which i have a lot of stuff to go up but you know that's one of them it's still good it's still good who likes insulators if you do you can come help organize because this is just one spot i've got more and i need to do something cool with them or at least put them up for display that's not today but it is coming real soon on another another episode of real backgrounds so tune in for that when it happens i don't know when it's going to happen but it's going to happen there are some things in life you don't get rid of like classic cars and boxes like this is a good box it is an amazon prime box that is just it's in good shape it's too good to get rid of like it's just the right size for something i don't know what i don't need it right now but i guarantee i'm going to need it and that's a really good box i cannot get rid of that box tables are going to be probably put on the marketplace and just give them away Hopefully somebody can use them and get them out of here. Have some old chairs that were too good to go to trash. An old radio, which is cool. May hang on to those. Those could be fun for a project. We've got the old 1968 or so. Uh, Three-quarter scale replica of the 1903 Mary Olds. And it's got some good stuff on it shirts just go get washed they're old extras that i have that are good shop shirts check these out insulators on stands look at that i call them stands because that's what they are now and my boy lost his hair oh no it's about that time again yep i have one of these it's actually pretty comfortable. Don't knock it till you try it. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Digging through stuff. And although this is relatively disorganized, I'm making progress, look at that. Um, granted, some of it's outside, but it's all getting put where it's supposed to go. But this is storage. You can't see me. Of some cool stuff. And check this out. Look at that. Do any of you remember these? I am 33 and about a half. That's so old. You're almost 30. And I grew up with these, but we grew up with older, even back then, they were older than what a lot of people were driving every day. Uh, grew, up with, grew up with cars in the 70s, and we use this a lot. This is an adapter that goes from an 8-track, and if you're not familiar, this is an 8-track. 
and it just slides into the dash of the car and it's got not a lot of songs it's got four songs on it so in the evolution of music and again maybe leaving some things out but in general you go from eight tracks such as this to cassettes such as this which had more songs on it and if you had an 8 track player but wanted the cassette you put this in you slide the cassette it's easier to do when it's in the dash and you're not using one hand inside and have that in the dash and boom you have a cassette player in your 8 track equipped vehicle and then later you know you had cassette things that went to DVDs and so on but this is a big part of my childhood and I'm sure some of you out there are also familiar with them the fun part too look at that Radio Shack that's cool progress We are now heading to town. I got stuff in the back that needs to go in, but also my sister is showing up. Or we're meeting in Pittsburgh to unload her last trip of stuff when she moved back from her person last summer. She's had one load of stuff. They sold the house, getting everything put back here. And I gotta go help unload and drive the U-Haul back to the U-Haul place. It's fun. Okay, all the unloading is done. Now, it's time for the fun part. We gotta take the U-Haul back. I, it doesn't matter how old you get, this is always fun. Uh-oh, they left the door open. Yoho! This is cool. This is much nicer than the last one we had. And just so you know, we do have some video ideas involving u-hauls it is going to be cool but i'm not going to tell you what it is yet because i take the surprise out of it and we don't want to do that do we do no, no we don't so i'm here to top the tank off which you should always do unless you want to pay an extra fee for them to do it and he said that it was like half and he gave me a 50 to top it off so we're gonna see how much it holds because I'm not sure how big the tank is but we're at 269.9 we're already at 25 so I hate to tell you Tim don't think your 50 bucks is going to do it that's alright I got it still going there we go only $32 over thank you fuel prices Okay, I'll look. That was fun. We had to stop and pull a lawnmower out of the ditch. We were just driving by and they oh, were they were not getting anywhere with it. So we pulled them out. Back to the house. It's windy. Parents drove the camper van. Brand new tire. The Family, everyone was out here. We had family taco night, which was good. Tacos were good. It's breezy. Feels like it might rain, but I don't think it's supposed to. So, just kind of wrapping up the video. Granted, this one was not a road trip, wasn't a project. It's more so just checking in and letting you see some stuff and some of what we do uh, on a home weekend when we actually try to get something done uh, one of these times I need a power wash because mud daubers on my patio it's my old fridge that is a 1950 Crosley Shelvador that's the first 
For, to my knowledge, I haven't looked forever, but from what I remember, it's the first refrigerator with shelves in the door. That is the shelvador. Uh, anyway, uh, wrapping up Saturday evening. I'm going to turn in here pretty soon. Um, but appreciate you tagging along. And hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, drop them below. Uh, I'm curious about anybody who remembers using eight tracks or maybe you still do uh, so yeah appreciate it you all have a good evening we'll catch you next video bye